Hey guys, welcome to PC Live Tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to design an amazing album cover on your PC Lab only. Something like this. You can't believe this was designed on my PC Lab. I will show you just without wasting much of my time. Let's get started. Just watch, sit down, and pay attention and see exactly how I'm going to design this from scratch to the hand. This is the PC Lab. So go directly, go and import the uh, uh, color pilot I use here, although I generate this myself, then use it as your background, the true color. By use your gradient, go to your gradient, select, use a color picker to pick the first one, use your color picker to pick it, then select the second at the top something like this then change it you see the way i move it then change it to the left now the second one go and choose the color the color of the second one choose it and you position it like this so it's okay you can actually shift the top shift the top line you see you can shift it down a little bit shift it down a little bit I'm trying to see something. So, at the end of the day, I shift down. So, I'm done with the color. So, the background, then I will delete that one. So, now the next thing for me to do is to start with my right top and other things I really need to do. So, record label. Then choose your font. So yeah, determine the kind of font you wanted to use. So for instance, the font I'm going to use right now is a Bay Bonfet font. Bonfet font. So as you can see, you see then I will reduce the size. Then give it a line spacing. I'll give it a line spacing. You can actually give it the kind of, I mean, your own desired line spacing. Then after you give it the line spacing, I give mine 15. Then I position it to the center. Then the next thing to do right now is to copy Deco Deco Studio label deco studio label so position this one at the bottom position it at the bottom then make sure you position it to the center very well so now what you do the next thing to do is to copy the test then write the title of the song, Pain. Then go to the font. The font chosen here must be different. So Jenny, that is the font I use here, Jenny font. So you can increase the size and position it at the center at the top. I'm trying to increase the size of the font. Okay, it's because it's too large. 
that is the reason why some parties uh, try to hide so here yeah, you not to you need to give it a space there must be a space in between it so give it a small space then position it at the center So after this, bring this one down, position to the center. I'm trying to use the ruler to make sure that uh, it actually placed at the center. Now import the image and the brush. You can actually get these two materials at the description of this video. Now increase the size, then position it at the middle. Download the materials for free. Practice, replicate it. Then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever I update my channel. And feel free to comment, ask questions. So now I'm trying at least to position to the center. We are almost there. Just make sure that uh, you position the image image at the center very well. Then the brushes make sure that it really lay the face of the picture then the next thing to do is to put your final right up on top of the brush the name of the musician so i'm trying at least to follow the principle by make sure that everything is being aligned So now put the right up over. Put the right up over Kali Joe. Then choose your desired font for this. And the font you use here is Jockey One Regular. Jockey One Regular. Then you give it the color. So give it the color and choose the color to give it. So after giving it color, then PC position it on top of the brush. Splash brush. Just position it there.
then space it a little bit after position to the center We're almost done. So now save. Save with Ultra with PNG. So now you can save as PLP as well. Now that is, we are done with the first step. Go back to the normal defaults so now import the album background sorry use the album background as the background then position place your design on top of it no need no, this one did not need any perspective or anything just crop it and position it on top like this then after position it very well you copy use your shadow to so that it won't be obvious that it was it was placed I'm trying to apply shadow. I don't want the shadow to be too much. To reduce the uh, the shadow like that. Copy then. Use your uh, circle <laughs> to crop it. You see the way I'm pressing it. Mm -hmm. Fine. The insert is very well to make sure that everything position on top of it. So after done that, select a circle, give it a color. So the circle I selected, I will place it at the middle of uh, uh, the design I just crop like a disc now. I want it to form disc. So I'll give it a black color, then I'll cut it out. So after after cutting it, then replace the color of white color. Then we still need one to cut. We still need uh, uh, the disc. We need to cut it as well. So shift that one to one side. Then after shifting that to the one side, then you have to click on the shape. A small shape then position it at the middle of that of the disc then crop 
cut it out. So then match it together with the disc and cut it out. Then use a color picker to pick a la white and cut out. See now we're almost there. So place it on top of the template. So after that, just position it very well like this. You see, very awesome. Then you send back the disc. Send it to the back. So I'm trying at least to cover that place. I want you to resemble as if maybe it is transparent. I mean it shows the back color exactly so this is exactly how you can design an awesome album cover on your Android smartphone using PCLA thank you for watching just saved immediately you are done thank you for watching God bless you don't forget to share this video if you find it interesting share comments ask questions ask questions so the next thing is to just to package everything and make sure that the design actually lay on top of on top of the white background which is a, a layer So on top of the background, you just make sure that it lay very well. So after reducing the base and position it well, then you uh, uh, after position it very well, we are good to go. So this is exactly a bunk of her. I'm trying at least to apply shadow. So now we are done. Just save. Thank you for watching. God bless you.